tonight. Daylight saving time ends this weekend. On Sunday, we yeah. fall back an hour, which means mm. yeah, we set our clocks back by one hour. So now you may be dreaming of sleeping in, but is that a good idea? And how this annual tradition can really affect our health? We're going to go to Chief Health Editor Dr. Partha Nandy with the answers. Doc. So, Alan and Glenda, you know, an extra hour of sleep does sound really good, right? But in reality, many of us actually can't take advantage of it. And that's because your sleep cycle, right? Your body's used to going to bed and getting up at a specific time. So just because the clocks move back doesn't necessarily mean your body is going to reset itself that quickly. In fact, this one-hour time shift can affect your sleep anywhere between five to seven days. That's right. So don't be surprised if you're tired earlier and wake up earlier. You might possibly even wake up during the night until you get used to the new schedule. So I love if you could just keep it the same all year round. Yeah, okay. Doc, as you say, you know, everyone says, yeah, it's great. We get to fall yeah. back an hour, an extra mm -hmm. hour of sleep. But how might this actually affect our health? So, Alan, if you are not well rested, your memory and cognitive performance can be affected. But that's not all. There are other serious health risks. For example, a preliminary study has shown that daylight savings time could raise the risk of stroke by 8% two days after the time has changed. And other studies have shown an increase of risk of acute bicardial infarction, which is the medical name, the fancy name for a heart attack. So, you know, important stuff that could be raised. So, Doc, can we get that extra hour sleep if we can? So, Glenda, I absolutely, I think you should because, you know, uh, sleep is brain food. It plays a role in memory, mood, immune system, and cardiovascular functions. And for those of us with kids at home, I'd suggest pushing bedtime about 15 to 30 minutes over the weekend to help ease them into the new schedule. It really is important, but I think, you know, again, I, a broken record, I'd like to keep it the same so these health risks are, are decreased. You know, I try and get at least eight hours every That's night. Great. Back or That's forth, awesome. doesn't matter. Eight hours for sure. That's good. And for the kids, it's not an extra hour to play video right. games. That's let's, exactly let's right. Let's be thank clear. You for saying that. All right. Thank you, Dr. Nandy. And if you have a question or a health concern for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy, at askdrnandy.com, or you can send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.